All right. Hey, Scorpio. So I'm doing an energy check-in for who's checking out you. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull three energies and I'm going to clarify the three energies that come through here. Um, you know, it could be one in the same. You're going to know that this is your read based off the connections around you. So, um, if you're not truly connecting with what I pull here, you guys check those other placements, um, or just check them anyway, uh, to, to see what other information you get that you can resonate with. All right. Um, you guys, if you're new, subscribe, please. Um, if you like my energy and in the comments, you guys, I got the links to my ebook and paperback book. It's about my twin flame journey, the healing processes, uh, the, the intimations or clues, um, that would suggest that you're on this journey, uh, shadow work, manifestation, all that good stuff. So it's, it's packed with a, a lot of stuff on my journey. Um, and we're always evolving and growing and learning, right? So the three main energies around you, Scorpio, what do we got? Scorpio, what do we got? All right. <clears throat> so here's what we're coming through with. You got your queen of cups coming through. So the queen of cups could suggest a cancer or a Gemini energy. Um, you got the emperor coming through. So divine masculine energy. And then we got the world card coming through. So you got past, uh, present, um, you know, past energy, you got present energy, the world card, um, you know, that's a Capricorn right there. So Aries, Capricorn, um, cancer, Gemini. So you could have those energies around. It doesn't have to necessarily be the signs, um, but the emperor card to me suggests divine masculine energy. So twin flame, a soulmate. And presently you could have this queen of cups coming through. So connecting with a water sign. Um, and then we have the world card, uh, which is going to suggest cycles that have ended. So you got past energies, you got present energies, and then you got a main energy coming through um, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull uh, Oracle cards and we're going to see um, by description what, what more is going on with these energies around you. And we're going to pull the most prominent one. All right, this is a 30 day read. So we're going to see what this what happens with this, uh, the most prominent connection in the next 30 days. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So here is what we got you guys coming through. Okay. So we got passion coming through insane chemistry, um, like each other equally and having fun. Okay. Uh, we got the engagement ring coming through engagement, partnership, um, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. I'm going to put engagement ring with that, um, with this, uh, emperor card. Okay. I'm going to put passion right here with this queen of water. Cause it could be that the, um, the energy on both ends is felt. Okay. Um, you know, and it could be too, that you got some passion coming through, um, this connection right here. Um, uh, but you know, you're still feeling it for other connections and we got karmic uh, relationship feelings, triggers, turmoils, um, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Okay. So this is definitely somebody in your past. So you got past, I feel like with the present energy coming through is a passion. And then with the engagement ring, um, because of union and, you know, um, I associate the emperor, empress, magician, high priestess with divine counterparts. Um, ultimately with that connection, what we desire is that union. Okay. But if that union is not here, it's not coming and you can't, you can't see it right now. It could just be that you guys um, are kind of going with this, uh, uh, present situation right here. So I'm going to pull and we're going to see what the most prominent energy is that is here. Um, so we're thinking of the next 30 days, what's going to be tr uh, transitioning um, with this connection. And if you guys are like, well, there ain't nobody in my present life, just know that that energy is going to come through. It's going to surface through. Okay. So um, what you got coming through most prominent, we have the eight of earth coming through. We got the nine of earth wish fulfillment. You got your nine, of, you got your nine, you got your eight and you got your queen of air coming through also. All right. So the queen of air coming through the fact that we don't have any other, uh, um, um, the fact that we don't have any other divine counterpart. Okay. But I, I don't want to say that because look at this, you got your king and queen, um, which would represent divine counterparts. So you got your king of, of fire coming through. So I kind of feel like this. For this connection, some of you guys could be, um, you know, doing the work for this divine, the, this connection right here, that uh, emperor. And some of you guys could be putting this one down. Um, if And if you don't associate with this one at all, you guys, um, it could just be that you got your um, new connection coming through right here with this queen of water. Um, and this right here is going to be possibly somebody that you work with. If you don't work with anybody um, or you haven't met anybody through work, um, that potentially could be coming through here. Uh, and the reason why I was saying... Um, holding like doing the work for this connection is because this nine of, of coins that also indicates um 
it's a single person's card. It's like I could have the energies if I want it, but I, I don't want it, you know? So I feel like um, some of you guys could be uh, just kind of on hold. So if, if you're at this point, you're like, nothing's really going on with this emperor. Things have not trans, th things are not transforming. They're not moving along, uh, but it could be that you're just kind of, um, you you understand that, but you know where your heart is on this journey, all right, for this connection. So some of you guys could just be kind of staying single, doing the work, um, healing, growing, and just maybe here to see if there's anything transpiring with this connection right here, which I, I kind of feel like we're on this one right here. Okay, so we got the queen, we got the queen coming back through. Uh, so I feel like this present energy right here, just know in the next 30 days, if you have been single, all right, you don't know what I'm talking about over here, um, you got another connection coming through right here. And some of you guys could actually be elevating with that, uh, that king and queen dynamic. So, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the present energy. So we're focusing on the new energy that's right here. Um, and I, you guys, I might, um, in a different read, I might have more hope or more energy to explain for you on this one. So you might actually resonate more with your Libra or not, not your Libra, but your rising sign or your moon sign. Okay. Um, so check those out, but we're going to focus on the present energy or the energy that's coming to you in the next 30 days. So let's just see what their next move is their next move. <clears throat> All right. Look at that. We have the Knight of Wands coming through. Okay, so I, this right here is a messenger card. Now I'm gonna tell you this, Scorpio. You you gonna have to you're gonna have to use your intuition and, and your your feelings. All right. If you guys are on this journey right here and you got new energies coming through your life, this Knight of Wands actually dropped in reverse. But it is a messenger. All right, but that it, that messenger could potentially just be coming in to get what they want. So they're not here to build anything long lasting. Um, but it could be just some some lusty type of energy coming through. All right. The lover's card is also about choices and decisions, um, you know, and for the present energy coming through right here, I'm going to say this, when this person comes through, you're going to really have to use, uh, you know, you're going to have to use your uh, uh, intuition, but I will, I'm going to pull their desires and fantasies, and then I'm going to pull their intentions to give you more information about that present energy. All right. Because what I see is they are coming through, but coming through in reverse, um, it, it's going to suggest not the most, um, positive outcome but i'm for for those right here in the present situation yes we're, we're gonna pull uh, what i'm what i'm basically saying here scorpio is for those of you on this path if you entertain this present energy um it could be that we're carrying or or we we're, we have more lessons to kind of learn okay um just and i feel like you're gonna know what i'm talking about right there so let's just see what their next move is <clears throat> i'm sorry their desires and fantasies desires and fantasies what are their desires and fantasies Look at that. We have the eight of, of wands coming through um, this coming through in reverse. This is like flirty. It's fun. You guys, again, use that intuition. All right. We got the death card. So you so in the present energy, you guys, this might be something that's just entertaining for now. All right. The nine of wands coming through this right here is I feel like they're coming through with not the best of, uh, you know, I, it's like I have there's a strong sexual desire here. There's a strong uh, but I don't want to commit myself because I don't want to put myself in that position just yet, but they are going to come through. Okay. Um, they're going to come through. They're going to talk there. You're going to know by, uh, if it's like more sexual, if it's more money related, you know, if it has nothing to do with substance, if they're not trying to get to know you, you guys are going to know, um, what your next move is then, right? Uh, that the desires and fantasies tell me that they don't have a strong desire to start something new. If anything, they're, they're a little bit afraid. Okay. Cause death is about transformation and changes, rebirths and cycles. Um, you got your nine of wands coming through right here. Uh, so this right here, um, and even though it comes in reverse, it's like they're, I feel like they're going to allow you to, uh, know all of the superficial stuff about them. But I feel when it comes to getting to know on a, a deeper personal level, I feel like that energy is, is absent. All right. And the eight of wands, you know, this right here is a strong, flirty, passionate energy. Um, and to me, it's like, that's what it's going to be. Like, I, I don't want to get to know you too deeply because I don't really know what I want yet. All right. Um, but let's, let's, we're going to fact check that. Let's see what their, uh, intentions are. What are their intentions with you? All right. We have the three of swords coming through. That's a, that's a heartbreak card. You guys look at that. I don't know what I want. The two of swords coming through with the three of swords. And then we got the star card coming through in reverse. Um, so, you know, this present energy of that queen, you guys, I'm just going to tell you their intentions are probably selfishly motivated a little bit. Okay. Cause it, this person doesn't even know what they want. Um, you know what I mean? 
And um, I just feel like if you were to entertain it and you get your feelings all caught up in it, I just don't feel like it's going to be something that um, ends positively for you with this present energy. All right. It doesn't mean that you have to let the past back in, but I'm going to tell you this. If you guys are on this journey, the universe is telling you um, it, it's speaking, it's, it's screaming, hey, well, what what happened? Did you meet somebody else? Um, you know, but it's a different person in the same energy. Um, so what are we? There's something that is not healed within you. So that's why we meet these connections. There's something about there's something that you're calling in, right? And it could be too that you're like, why do I always meet the same person in a different body? It's because there's something that you there's something that is unhealed inside of you, okay? Um, and and what you're gonna have to do, I guess the best way I've done this is I've written down. You know, um, I've written down the personalities, um, and I've, I've found, you know, the trigger marks, uh, okay. Like, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to explain it here because I don't want to go on and on and on. Uh, but anyways, if you guys can identify that within you, um, it's like basically what's going to happen is, and it could be too, that you guys just need to, um, learn to balance the, the, the divine masculine within you. All right. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but that uh, divine masculine energy coming through says that there's um, balancing the divine masculine and feminine energies within you. And then it'll stop these uh, kar the karmic connections from coming in. Right. So let's just see um, what let's just see what what advice you got. I don't feel like I should pull anymore because I don't feel like this is going to be anything. Once you start kind of seeing this person's true colors, I feel like it's not going to be anything more than. Um, it, you're going to be like, yeah, that was right. Okay. So your advice, we got the two of cups coming through. You got your knight of cups coming through. Um, and, and that soulmate energy is coming back through you guys. Okay. I'm going to say this, you got your, your soulmate card right here. Okay. And you got a messenger, another messenger coming through and more divine energy. All right. And even if it's just, um, not, not, we're not going to run off into the sunset and get married with our divine counterpart yet. Um, I do feel like this, when this energy brings itself back around, which is what I see the messenger, the soulmate balance right here, new beginnings. I feel like you guys are going to have a fresh perspective on that, uh, that divine masculine energy. All right. The more we heal ourselves, the more our counterparts get healed. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pull initials. Hopefully this has made sense. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm doing it. A, I'm doing it a different way. Um, just because I, I know that we all experience more than one energy. So initials coming through, we got W I W S and then we got J G and I'm going to pull one more for that duplicate. And it is B. All right, Scorpio, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.